a best seen excerpt from It Takes Balls by Charlie Scales. Interior, Aiello, second floor apartment, master bedroom, day. Baby Carmen is atop a changing table adjoining a double bed. Tressa removes a soiled diaper, rolls it, sets it aside, cleans the baby, and readies a new diaper. Chappie is asleep in the bed. Realizing the baby isn't done, she quickly rearranges his position on the table, mouths a count of five, and steps back. A stream arcs towards Chappie's face. Jesus Christ, what the... She tosses Chappie a fresh diaper. Yeah, dry yourself. I couldn't stop him. Why, are you blaming the kid? I guess your son wanted to tell you it's 11 a.m. Time to get your ass out of bed and go down to work. You're nuts. That's one of the things I love about you. Sure as hell ain't because of you. Hey, watch yourself. The next words could be your last ones. I'm going to go feed your son and make you breakfast. Tress picks up the baby and starts to leave the bedroom. It's just coffee. And I get dressed and bring that shitty diaper out with you. Interior, Aiello's apartment, living room, kitchen, continuous. Tressa enters with the baby and goes to the shrine on the wall. A photo of Saint Therese of Lisieux with the words, Love is repaid by love alone, hangs above a shelf holding a small vase with paper flowers, a votive candle, and a small statue of the Virgin Mary. She pauses prayerfully, signs the cross, then retrieves a baby bottle and a pan for the stove. She tests it on her wrists, sits at the kitchen table, and serenades the child while she feeds. Chappie enters and tries to hand the diaper to Tress. Stun it, rinse it out, then put it in the diaper bucket. Chappie heads towards the sink. In the toilet, asshole! You just wanted to see if you were paying attention. Mm -hmm. Chappie heads into a bathroom adjoining the kitchen. You didn't come to bed till 2 a.m., how come? I had to meet Anthony. He says he doesn't want to be tied to the gambling, afraid it could cost him the election. Tressa takes the sleeping baby into the bedroom, re-enters alone, and raises a fire under a coffee pot. So? A toilet flushes her. Chappie re-enters, rolling his left arm and shoulder. He puts the diaper and the diaper bucket at the top of the stairwell. I told you to go see Dr. Berman about that, on. Huh? Yeah, the mind, the mind. Yeah, I, I think the phone calls are going to stop. Okay, tomorrow my ass. We got other options, ain't we? Yo. Oh yeah, the vice squad leaks more than an 80-year-old lady. But I'm worried Anthony might shut us down. Did he say that? No, he said he wouldn't. He even crossed his eye. That's what, that's what I knew he was lying. Chappie sits at the kitchen table, sees the empty coffee cup, and looking at Teresa, points to it. If that son of a bitch tries to take my family's living away, I'll yank his heart out through his asshole. Teresa sweeps the still percolating coffee pot from the stove walks to the kitchen table and dumps coffee into Chappie's cup until it overflows. Tressa, calm down. It ain't the end of the world. I'll find work besides. He's powerful. You don't... You telling me I can't do something? Are you? Are you telling me that? No, 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 no. Especially if I'm in the same room as you. <sighs> That's why I love you. You let me protect you. Oh, jeez. Here it comes. I'm a man. You're just a woman. You're gonna protect me. <laughs> You're not a man. You're just a man. And God gives... Just a man, what at most, two balls? But I'm not just a woman. I'm a wife and a mother. And you know what that means, huh? Just a man? I got a feeling I'm gonna find out. Means God gave me more than enough balls for the whole goddamn family. Tress to pulls Chappie out of his chair. Now, go downstairs, open the pool room, and make us some money. Go! Go play with your cockroach friends. From his pocket, Chappie gives her a large roll of cash. We had a good night. Now don't put that down your bosom, so it'll just wind up on the floor. You son of a bitch bastard. Man, I love you too, chicken girl. <laughs> this pain is just... I just uh... Yeah, bullshit! Go see Dr. Berman. Today! Let him tell you what it is. Yeah, all right, all right. Chappie disappears down the stairs. Tressa goes to the top of the stairs. You want your new son to grow up knowing his father, don't you? She throws a pacifier at him. You missed! Tressa launches an empty baby bottle at him. We hear it crash against the wall and roll down the stairs. Missed again! Tressa pulls a diaper from the diaper bucket and throws it at him. We hear a wet slap. Next, you better throw me down a clean shirt. And no more late hours. I want you in bed by nine. To sleep. You pig! I don't worry about me. Yeah, I ain't worried about you. I'm worried about me. It don't matter if I croak. You'll have enough of insurance money to buy yourself a younger husband. If it's not a better looking one, huh? There ain't that much money in the whole world. You son of a bitch bastard. If you die, I don't matter. 